Crabtree Farms, a nonprofit urban farm right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We have 22 acres, 11 of which are fenced in, supporting a few hundred varieties of plants grown both to sell and to grow for food for the Chattanooga area community. We use three greenhouses and three high tunnels to get us through the seasons, as well as a barn, potting shed, pole barn, and event center available for workshops and rentals. So what you are seeing here are our two high tunnels on the farm. Normally both of these are covered in greenhouse plastic, which will capture sunlight and create a warmer environment inside the high tunnel. This year we've chosen to only have plastic on one of them and keep the other tunnel open air. This tunnel that does not have plastic on it does have a uh, shade cloth that will get put on later on that will partly shade the plants that will be planted underneath it. We're using this tunnel to grow various tropical plants like ginger and lemongrass. The other high tunnel, which has plastic on it here, creates a much warmer environment and we're growing tomatoes in there. That allows us to grow tomatoes farther into the season. We grow blueberries that are so delicious that we have to cover them with nets to keep the birds from pecking away at their tastiness. If you are interested in learning more about our blueberries while picking them, we offer the community to come and pick their own blueberries during the summer season. These bushes last us all year round, but the fruits don't last as long. These built raised beds are filled with beautiful soil to grow special crops like onions. The farm has multiple fields, in the summer, a lot of our fields are used for growing crops like tomatoes, peppers, and even a variety of flowers. You'll see here what looks to be a lot of uh, black plastic sheeting. We use a special black plastic that is made from corn, and it helps us control weeds and also keep water and moisture down in the soil where the roots of the plants can use it. As the season goes by, this corn-based plastic weed barrier will break apart and eventually decompose back into the soil, so that way it's safe for the environment. As you can see, we grow lots and lots of different plants. There are hundreds of tomatoes in here. They get planted when they're very small, and then as the summer goes on, you can see them getting larger, and even starting to bloom and put on delicious, tasty tomatoes. While not necessarily the most glamorous looking part of the farm, what we see here is our pole barn, which we use for storage, and our composting operation that Compost House runs for us right now. Composting means that decomposers or critters are breaking down materials so we can use it in the fields for more plants to get the nutrients that they need. Now the bees are here because Irma's bees are kindly keeping some of their buzzy busy bees at Crabtree Farms for us. The bees get food to eat from our flowering plants and in return the bees spread pollen from plant to plant so our crops can grow. These pollinators are super important. We have native pollinators that visit our flowers as well as honeybees that come and get food and in return give us food as well. Farmer Kelly does a whole lot of hard work here at Crabtree Farms, and so sometimes she'll want to snack on some of the delicious fruit that we have growing around the property. Here in the high tunnel, these tomatoes are growing big and strong, and they get very heavy, so they need some help with poles and string to give them support and keep them lifted up off the ground. 
If you like blackberries, you are in luck. These trellised berries are thornless, and all of those white blossoms that you see, if they get visited by the right pollinator at the right time, will become fruit that we can pick and share and eat. On the left here, you see our row of pawpaw trees. Those are the North America's largest native fruit that grows on a tree, and they are delicious. We don't have, you pick for pawpaws, but if you go to market at the right time, maybe you can find one. They taste a little bit like a banana and a mango and a cantaloupe all had a party in your mouth. Zoom, zoom. Our farmers use this little vehicle to transport produce, plants, and equipment around the farm. Even though it's not an actual mule, we do call it our mule like the live work animal. Seed starting and growing plants is a major part of the work we do here on the farm. This area is our potting shed where we do seed starting and repotting of all kinds of plants. It's really the people that make Crabtree Farms what it is today. It's such a special place for so many of us. We are grateful for our volunteers and people that come to visit. Anytime our gate is open, you are welcome to come bring your family and go for a walk or bring a picnic. We would love to see you sometime at the farm. Thank you for visiting with us today.